welcome to another product feedback video. In this video we've got the uh, G-Skill solid state drive. If you have a close look here, it uh, says 128 but it's been crossed out to a 64 because the guy at the shop nearly gave me a 128 gig at the price of a 64 gig which would have been extremely happy with that but he did see it in the end. Anyway, the reason why I chose this uh, solid state drive, it's actually for my new computer build and you'll see a whole bunch of videos in my channel in relation to that um, because it was more from a price point perspective but this Falcon 2 uh, drive is actually based on Indlinx uh, system or buffer I believe it's called which means that every time you run your hard drive it runs as quick as though it was just installed or just used well, I think some of the others, older solid state drives used to slow down. Um, please leave a comment if you got you know more information on this. I'd love to find out, but I believe this is kind of the best value at the moment for that two hundred dollar Australian price bracket. So we'll pop it open and see what it comes with. I'd love to find out what solid state uh, solid state drives you guys are using, because um, a lot of people told me that the OCZ stuff is very good, but Apparently the G-Skill products are very good as well and I've previously used a lot of the G-Skill memory so uh, Nicely packaged, simple box, hard cardboard and you open it up and on the inside you got a G-Skill solid state user guide Just some information there, it's spelled wrong like usual Actually I don't think that's spelled wrong, it's just the way it's designed And there we go G Skill Falcon 2 64 gig, 64 gig solid state drive SATA 2 2.5 inch. We also get a attention for firmware upgrade use only. Okay. And oh, this is it here. Don't need that. Should just unpeel as such. There we have it, the G Skill Falcon 2. So we'll see um, how it runs. I'll run some uh, benchmarks to see the performance of the actual hard drive. All right, I've installed the solid state drive as you can see in the uh, middle top right hand side. On the bottom is the one terabyte Western Digital Black Caviar. Just sort of show you how it ends up looking inside the system zoom out here on the EVGA X58 SLI LE edition we've got the awesome Corsair uh, H50 uh, CPU cooler and the Radeon 5770 so it fits in extremely nicely along with the other component tree and we'll see what sort of benchmarks it uh, comes up with I thought I'd show you the boot up speed as well with the uh, G-Skill Falcon 2 solid state I mean, it's a bit indicative of your um, components, but just an example, we can see how quickly it loads the Windows 7 operating system. I've installed a clean 64-bit edition, along with Norton uh, 2010 security suite, so just see how quickly it turns on. I've noticed a big difference between this and the normal hard drive, so i just thought I'd show you guys anyway. And that's pretty much it. So just yep. Load it. So as you can see it was pretty quick. And also show you down, I'll show you the shutdown speed. And we're off. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.